this Manchester United free Leicester City new Manchester United went fox hunting today and caught a couple of foxes turned their skin into coats scarves and everything and took the meat home for our partner to make us some dinner today because we went fox hunting they thought they weren't scared of us don't you know foxes are scared of humans Yes, and they were playing against Manchester United, the Red Devils. Manchester United collecting three points today. Oh, what a wonderful Sunday it is. Those three points mean a lot because why? Because Manchester United are three points behind Man City. The cheating man cheating. You know, get me? Man been cheating for time. And of course, Asna, five points behind them. Arsenal, Arsenal with a game in hand, but it doesn't matter because what's important is that Manchester United got those three points today. What was needed? Oh, I'm so happy, guys. I've been happy. I'm enjoying um, being a Manchester United support, and I'm very sure you guys as well are enjoying being a Manchester United supporter, man. What a game it was. Big up to players that done so well. Manchester United in the second half was extremely well in terms of creating possession, opportunities, retention, everything. Possession was good. But that first 45 minutes, guy, which we'll get straight into it because that first 45 minutes in the first 20 minutes, we were suffering. We was in trouble. The foxes were not scared. They were looking at us like the way the foxes look at me on the streets. And when I stop my ground, they just stay still and be like, who the fuck do you think you are? Like, you think we're scared? This is 2023. We've been living in the city in London for time. We've been here before you. Like, we're not scared of you. That's how it was in the first 20 minutes because they were creating opportunities, you know. Collect you in, in your lot, It's causing problems. David De Gea was fantastic saving our asses. But then the goal came from Manchester United. And you know the only one. MBE Sir Marcus Rashford, as always, feeding the back of the net just like he's been feeding the kids in school. You get me, guys, with a wonderful, wonderful pass there. Outside foot by Bruno Fernandes. Oh, delicious to find Marcus Rashford to go through. And Rashford was acres of time and space. He could have squared it to Ganacho, but no, he smashed the shit out of that ball. And it was 1 0 to Manchester United against Leicester the Foxes. Half time, we couldn't be happy. Any more happy. We wanted more goals because we can't just sustain the lead like this with 1 0. Manchester United did exactly that. In that second half, oh, 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 the game just opened. Manchester United in that second half was just superb, you know. As I said, the game was open when things was done. Leicester was just all over the place. Scrapping for food like foxes do. Scrapping all over the place. You get me? Like Marcus Rashford with that second goal. I don't know if it was Fred or Workhorse with the supply with the assist. But I think it was Workhorse. I'm not too sure. But Workhorse had a fantastic game today, guys. But yeah, slipping in through Marcus Rashford. Marcus Rashford running through that left-hand side. And you know when Rashford run through that left-hand side with bare time. Bare airspace. It can only mean a goal. And you thought VAR was going to take it away from you. No, it didn't. It didn't at all because it was 2-0 to Manchester United. Rashford with his second goal. Man of the match performance, I would say, from him as well. Brilliantly. And then Jaden Sancho. Jaden Sancho with the 1-2 with our guy Bruno Fernandes with the second assist of the day today. Jaden Sancho came on and made changes to Manchester United. You know, it, we opened up the game due to the change of half time in the second half. Bringing on Jaden Sancho. And Jaden Sancho won two with Bruno Fernandes. And it was 3 0 with a wonderful finish by Sancho. Sancho, second goal after coming back from his long rested time, long spell out the game. Whatever it is, his rehabilitation, whatever it was. But Sancho making it three goals to nil. And it was full time and we were just enjoying. We were in heaven. What a wonderful Sunday it is, guys. <laughs> oh, being a United fan. It has been so great and now we're gonna go Qatari soon and I hope we go Qatari. We don't want to be going British with Brexit, man, trying to borrow money from the bank. We want the guy that can borrow money to the bank, which is which is the Qatari man that's looking to bid almost five billion pounds for Manchester United. But it is what it is, man. We are enjoying life. Manchester United today, player-wise, I think Workhorse was spectacular. There's something about him. I know he gives me those Peter Crouch vibes, and I know he gives you those Peter Crouch vibes, but he gets stuck in. He gets involved. Even playing in that number 10 role, he gets really involved. And you know Rashford, spectacular game today. R Rashford was the man of the match. But he wasn't my man in the match. He was Sky Sports man in the match. Bruno Fernandes, two assists. What can you say about him? Sancho came on and done his thing. But Sabitzer, bat 
wrestling it out in midfield with Fred. I w- hope we get him on permanent deal. But my man, I'm actually has to go to what workhorse, you know, just again involved with the game throughout the whole 19 minutes. He should have got a goal. I believe he got an assist. I, I can't remember. I don't know if it's between him and Fred, but he done so well, bruv. It is what it is, man. I hope, I hope he gets some goals in because he deserves some goals. He deserves some accolades. Manchester United fans enjoy it one game at a time. We've got the second leg of the champ of the Europa League and we've got the Carabao Cup final. We take it one game at a time. As always, this has been your match reaction from your boy Ivor Inspired. Do let me know who your man of the match is, your donkey of the match in the comments because I don't have a donkey of the match. Let me know what your thoughts of the match today. And as always, subscribe, smash that like button and press that notification bell so you can be the first. We are back tomorrow live at Reggie Night TV, Instagram page Reggie Night TV 1 for the catch up for our podcast at 8 p.m. UK time. It is what it is. As always, remember to keep it united and remember to keep it Reggie Night. Your boy is out. Peace, peace, peace.